What's up, bro? Back at it again, man. Yo, so I was scrolling through Lipstick, Lipstick Alley and I came across this article also. Director Alan Hughes asserts Tupac could have challenged Denzel Washington's Hollywood reign if he had survived. I just want to make a video about this because uh, this the, the comments just made me laugh. So they were like, love Pac, but respectively disagree. <laughs> you know, that's what I like about Lipstick, Lipstick Alley, man. You get, you don't get the D-Riders. You know, you get, you get balanced thinking. You know what I'm saying? You get intelligent, balanced thinking. And intelligent, balanced comments. Not dick riding comments. Um, I don't think they would have been in competition, but yes, he would have been great. No, and Mr. Hughes needs to stop while he is, he is ahead. Somebody go tell him, be, be fucking for real, please. When I first found out Alan was doing a documentary and my jaw dropped, I was like, hold up, ain't Pac and his goons jump you? I see you Alan Hughes trying to create controversy and draw attention to this documentary by making this silly comparison. Tupac probably would have been a decent steady living in movies at a Morris Chestnut level of success, but I don't believe he would have been anywhere near Denzel who can do everything gangster to I have been whatever the what? Pentameter. I always believe he would have became a big movie star after his rap career. I don't know about Denzel's competition, but Tupac was definitely on the thespian path to acting. He was very good. Let's say uh, Tupac died at age where Denzel was just getting started in his calling. D paid serious dues to get where he got, and this Allen guy needs to respect that. If Tupac had lived, had been willing to put in the work, and had a stable married family life who knows what could have happened he certainly had both the brains and the looks it's a shame we'll never know ironically Denzel could have been someone Pac might have worked with because he's worked with several rappers over the years that said this all feels a bit sliding towards Denzel's dude swag is very real and it was earned in damn New York streets make no mistake but he did everything that he could to avoid ending up as a statistic. This part should also be acknowledged. I don't know about all that. Alan Shearer is doing a lot for someone who got jumped by the man. Anyway, I think 50-year-old Tupac would be in politics somewhere. He would have left acting by now. That documentary revealed a lot. Tupac was supposed to be an Independence Day. Tupac had three classic movies. Morris Chestnut barely has one, and he has Pac by almost 30 years. When he was alive, he didn't even touch him. <laughs> limited range, limited movie mass appeal. I love Juice, and I think he had one more with one of the Belushi brothers. Denzel was already a mega, a mega star during Tupac's era. Yeah, Denzel had already did Malcolm X uh, when Tupac was alive. Could this Allen guy have made have made a better comparison using Sam Jackson as his example rather than Denzel? What y'all think? Nope, lies. I think he means if Pac were living today, he might have been someone like Will Smith, Queen Latif, or even say Ice T. People who started in the 80s rap but are far better known today as actors. With the exception of Ice Cube, the others didn't have such a controversial image to overcome as Tupac did. People were more willing to accept them outside of their original rap persona. Ice simply was, is content to play cops and robbers. Tupac was too intelligent and had too much of a social conscience to remain content with something like that for long. I think you're right about eventual politics for him. If he hadn't ended up going the total Hollywood route, sadly we'll never know. Like everyone else, I respectfully disagree. 
I must say Pac would have made a great Antoine Fisher alongside Denzel. Although I do love me some Derek Luke. People love to, to present hypotheticals that never have to be proven. Tupac was gifted, but he also had serious attitude problems. I doubt Denzel ever punched his director. That kind of thing gets you blacklisted, no matter how much talent you have. Tupac punched the director? I never knew about that. Oh, they're talking about Alan Hughes. Well, Hughes brothers didn't do that many movies anyway. He would, he would have been a top actor, but I don't know about the comp competing with Denzel. I think he would have given actors in his age range serious competition. He was definitely on his way to much bigger things. It's sad because this chance to, to grow was snatched from him. Tupac was a great actor, but I think he wouldn't have been as likable across demographics as Denzel. All right, y'all. Let me get my opinion on this. I like the comments. I like the comments. It's balanced. It's not dick riding. Tupac dick riders annoy me, man. I'm sorry, bro. But I like balanced. I like balanced comments. You know, I like balanced opinions. I just don't like people just... Everything Tupac did. I don't like people that think that try to be apologists for Tupac. You know, I don't like apologists for Tupac. They have to make an excuse for every wrong thing he did. I don't like Tupac apologists. I'm sorry. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan, but I don't dick ride. You know, I see him as a a great man, but I also see him as a flawed man. As we all are flawed. And as we all have greatness in us. But it seems when I point stuff out like this, I get bashed. But anyway, oh man, it's early in the morning, y'all. Sorry. Anyway, man, um, what do I think? Does Alan Hughes have a point? Do I believe Tupac would have given Denzel comp competition? Well, I'm gonna put it this. I'm gonna put it like this. Tupac's pers real life persona is more intriguing than any movie he ever did. You know, just look at his interviews and look at Denzel interviews. Tupac was right up there as far as his real life persona, as far as his real life personality. Hell yeah, he could compete with Denzel. Uh, he could compete if he had the right role. If he gave us, if Tupac gave us in real life, and he's in, if Tupac gave us in real life what he gave us, if Tupac gave us in a role, in a movie role, what he gave us in real life, in, in, a, in a lot of these interviews he, he, he gave us in real life, then hell yeah, probably would, surpa probably would surpass Denzel. <laughs> you fucking right, man. You ever see a Tupac interview, niggas? I mean, I respect y'all comments, but you got to put it in perspective. This is what Alan Hughes is talking about. He had potential. He had potential to be Denzel's competition by how he came across in articulating himself and representing himself in interviews, man. The man was fucking powerful in interviews. More powerful than he was in his music. More powerful than he was in his acting. You watch a man interview and you want to follow this guy. Like, hell fucking yeah, fuck. I'm with you. Now, if that could be incorporated in a movie role, you goddamn right. He'd be Denzel competition. I, I would say he passed Denzel. If you can incorporate it, his real life persona in a movie, and I'm not talking about, you know, the sub the subject matter he talked about in, in in his real life, but I'm talking about how he could articulate himself in an interview and how fast he's what and how fast he was, how sharp he was, how mentally sharp he was. And debating people. We saw that when uh, he was on that talk show. 
and he was and he and he just crushed all those people on that stage. He had an answer for everything they came with. He had a rebuttal for him, a quick, sharp, fast ass rebuttal for him, and they couldn't fucking ch and they couldn't challenge that. And they didn't know how to come back from that. He shut them all down on that on that on that stage. On that talk show. That motherfucker was badass, man. Tupac was a bad motherfucker, man. So if if he could bring that if that if he had a role that was as powerful as him, that was as powerful as his real life persona, fuck, I think he passed in Zell, bro. But you had to find that role. And, and Tupac never had that breakout role to show us his real skills, his real acting skills. We never got a chance to saw Tupac real acting skills. Uh, Juice. People say Juice, but... That's just, I mean, yeah, Juice was great. That's probably one of his, that's probably his best role. Juice is probably his best role, but he had better roles to come. Okay, we know you can play, play the wild, crazy nigga. Yeah, in real life, you're a wild, crazy nigga, but can you be, can you play another nigga? Can you play a smart, intelligent, goofy nigga? Yeah, he could. We saw him being a goofy, smart, intelligent nigga in real life. So, yeah, he could play that play that guy but we never got a chance to see that on the screen could you play a nerd could you play real soft ass nerdy hell yeah we saw that in real life they call girls the b word we saw that but we never got a chance to saw it on the screen hell yeah he could have surpassed he could have surpassed Denzel bruh I think he could have surpassed Denzel but we never saw that on the screen he didn't have the roles for that